March is Women's History Month, and in Montana there have been some extraordinary women who have made history. This morning, part two of that series takes us to the capital city to learn about a woman who not only had a hand in shaping political history for Montana's poli political party, but as she puts it, had a ringside seat to some of the most amazing things. MTN's Mackenzie Frost has this story. Sitting in her office in the Lewis and Clark City County building. Life has been full of a um, pretty amazing opportunity for me. Susan Goodgeezy, full of advice and perspective. Just being able to show up has, um, has caused me to reap um, enormous benefits. A county commissioner now, but her political roots run deep. She says she's always been interested in politics. I didn't didn't think back in that would have been like 1963 that that was an avenue that would necessarily be open to me. Looking at her background, I came from a solidly middle class family who were highly regarded, but we didn't have a lot of money and, and we didn't have a lot of, you know, I didn't have any real contact. But that didn't stop her from pursuing her dreams. She took a trip to the capital city and listened to a hearing during the legislature. Listening that day would change the course of her life. And I was expecting great and glorious things to emanate from them. And some of them were like that and some of them were clearly not. And I thought, well, heck, I could, I could do that. She was right. She ran for a seat in the legislature in 1988 and won. I went to the YWCA and I checked out a book about how to win an impossible campaign. And I unseated as seventh term incumbent and um, went to the legislature. During her time inside the Capitol building, Gisi says any doubt in her mind melted away. The truth is when I got there, I thought, oh, well, this is where I'm supposed to be. It felt very natural to me. Really? It made a lot of sense to me. Um, I really, really loved it. Then she found herself in a new role during an historic change. I uh, was the chairman of the Montana Republican Party mm -hmm. and um, was instrumental in engineering the single biggest legislative shift in the country that year, 1992. She describes the work as intense but incredible. The result was so surprising that um, the, uh, the newspapers reported it wrongly the next day. That was the same year Mark Roscoe won his race for governor. And I had a chance to play a part in that. And as a, as a kid, did I ever think I would have that opportunity? Absolutely not. After leading the Republican Party to a majority in the state house, a place it has yet to relinquish, she became the chief policy advisor at the Public Service Commission again during an important time as it dealt with the fallout from utility deregulation. And the sale of Montana Power to Northwestern Energy. And it was a billion dollar deal. Everybody was looking at us. From that position, she found herself married, living in Augusta, and working as the librarian. I loved it. I wasn't in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. I wasn't controversial. Life was really pretty ducky. My commute was a half a block. Life with books in the small Rocky Mountain front town of Augusta would come to an end when another opportunity came knocking. A Lewis and Clark County commissioner's seat had recently become vacant. I had no intention. Really? No, zero. They've not had an Augusta commissioner since 1906. After a series of interviews and perhaps some luck, she was appointed to the commission in 2013 and hasn't looked back. I have gotten over being surprised when I'm able to rise to the occasion. And for the other people who may be hesitant to go after what they want? Sometimes we're just too afraid to, to shoot for it, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just think, well, you know, not me, not smart enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not don't have the right education, I don't have any money. And um, you know, those things are only barriers so long as you so long as you let them be. In Helena, Mackenzie Frost, MTN News.